love it this is literally their first kiss i was going insane i was highlighting the entire page i love it i had to highlight and heart that and put a tab there we're hanging out but like why am i reading a 600 page book when half of it's boring i told tori that it got more interesting and she said that's where i got more confused so and i knew it i knew it i need to finish this last 100 pages it's already 10 o'clock and i'm tired but i'm gonna finish i'm determined things are getting crazy now and i would like answers well that was unexpected hi everybody welcome to a new reading vlog if you can't tell we are here because it is actually iron flame release day today so i am just starting my fourth wing reread i had a really busy weekend i had a beta read something for an author so i got a little bit behind so i also had a, i worked a ton on sunday and i didn't mean to but it is tuesday it is release day tori is going patreon reading sprint soon which i'm gonna join i just want to pop on here real quick to show you my annotating so i did start i'm 10 pages into fourth wing this vlog is gonna be for fourth wing and iron flame I'm only gonna show spoilers if I have a spoiler and I'll let you know if it's a spoiler coming so no need to worry about that but I do have a key right here for what I'm gonna be annotating my edition's actually different than Tori's because she showed me where hers was I actually first was using the like square rectangle highlighters but they like really bled through like you can see on here so i changed to my mile liner which is what the line is next to there i have like so many of those rectangle highlighters because i get them in like every pr box i get from authors but it was bleeding through a lot so i'm using my mild liners which i usually always use to annotate when i do so pink is for zayden purple's for violet blue is for anything like about the world or the plot or anything setting anything like about the story green is for dragons and then i do have a green tab I'm going to be using and then I do have blue pink and purple tabs in this and I actually had two of these that's why I'm using it and then I have my sharpie pen which is my favorite to use the sharpie gel pen that does not bleed through so I've already started my annotating a little bit it just jumps right in and I did not remember that her mother was that like harsh towards her so um I've already started underlining annotating tabbing making some comments and i love how it's turning out i was stressing during my patreon reading sprints last night trying to set this up because i want it to look good and i actually hate free handing highlighting so i use the edge of this to highlight because i don't like i don't like crooked edges so i'm 10 pages in we're gonna see how this goes so i'm rereading this and then i'll read iron flame which my copy of my special edition of fourth wing it came damaged from Amazon which is very annoying the sprayed edges are like scratched so it's all like flaking off at the top of one so Tori went to Barnes & Noble today and FaceTime me while she was there got the last copy of the special edition fourth wing there because I don't want to go around to like a million stores today but I need to get on to her reading sprints to watch because they're at they were started two minutes ago I'm gonna join her sprints not like in person I'm gonna watch them because I always watch her sprints read my fourth wing and I'll give you some updates I'm really liking it so far I've already read it before. I do have my sweatshirt, my flyer die, and it has the dragons on the back, and I love it. But I'm going to start reading, and I will update you guys as I go. I really like how her sister acts all, like, mean, but she, like, really cares about her, and she's just jumping into going. I love how this just, like, jumps in. It's already so fast-paced. It's only 500 pages, so I'll be reading. everybody i am not as far as i wanted to be so it is thursday today iron flame came out on tuesday and i'm still not finished with my fourth wing reread i actually got halfway through which i'm very proud of i read 100 pages on tuesday and 100 pages on wednesday so i am now 
a little over 200 pages I am annotating and tabbing which I will show you in a sec when I set this down because I can't show you right now but I am loving the reread because I forgot so much that happened in this book I remember like the big plot points but I don't remember like little character details or who her friends are or who her enemies are especially for like the big big main characters so I needed this reread I also seriously hate Dane from the moment I meet him this time when I like kind of was interested in him the last time where I was like oh is she gonna have like a romance with her childhood best friend um no no I hate so much how he just like really doesn't let her be strong and he like is like well you're gonna die anyways like no I have to save you and I'm like no she's not gonna die and I love how Zayden treats her so that's all I'm gonna say I'm loving this though I will put a spoiler card here because I want to chat about I just got to the dragon part and I just forgot how cool that was and how cool her Taren I think his name is is that how you say his sister not sure. Taren, Taren. I really like her dragon, both of them, and I loved how it happened where she bonded with both of them and how like the dragons have the final say because like he went and he's like, no, the dragons are gonna meet and then we'll tell you and how he just always is able to communicate with her and how she's like, oh my gosh, I'm stuck with Zayden now, like he wants to kill me, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, he doesn't. You have no idea what's about to happen. So I like knowing things on my reread. My sister is a little over 200 pages into Iron Flame right now, so she's actually ahead of me. She finished her reread way before me, but I'm very excited to finish this reread and then jump into Iron Flame. I've seen a few people finish and say they're like shocked and need the next book now, but I've also heard people say the beginning's a little slow because it's info dumpy. So we will see. I'm gonna go and read some more Fourth Wing. Hi guys, so I'm on page 350, it's 500 pages. I think it's like exactly 500 pages if I'm, or like right under 500. This is exactly how I spoiled the end last time, but I think it's like 498, yes. So I'm on 350 and pretty much every highlight has been pink. <laughs> I was kicked out of the family room because my sister is reading Iron Flame and I was reading this and getting so giddy over parts like, we're gonna get a little spoiler here, when the two dragons are doing stuff together and so their lust is feeding into their riders and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I forgot about this and the time when people try to kill Violet and Zayden, you know Zayden's about to like show up and just demolish everybody and he does and I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. And I forgot that she got to see Mira and I was really excited for that. But I was like freaking out about things and like could not contain my excitement and like constantly opening and closing my highlighters. And my sister was like, you are being so annoying. I was like, okay, fine. I'm gonna go upstairs. So I'm up here and most of my tabs are pink. Most of my highlights are pink just because I'm obsessed with Zayden. I didn't highlight a lot like in the middle section where it was like their squad was like doing tasks and stuff because like it's fine. But Zayden's so head over heels for her and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm excited to continue reading more. That's my only update for you. Not too much. I know like bad things are going to start happening soon-ish. So we'll see how I do there. Hello everybody. I am in my room again. I'm so sorry for like no change in scenery. I was downstairs but this little one right here. If you can see her. She decided it was time to come up here. <laughs> and she gets into things when she is not supervised, especially up here. So she decided where we were going. But I do have my Mickey Mouse pants on, they're so warm. I finished. It is eight o'clock on Friday night. I have to finish Iron Flame by tomorrow, but you know what, it's fine. I finished my most tabs, if you can see. Most of my tabs are for sure pink. I don't tab too, too much. It's just something that if I wanna like come back to. So I did annotate this whole thing and highlight. I don't like write a ton 
when I annotate, but most of it's pink. I actually went through two sets of tabs for pink because it's Zayden, and I was just like, I want to look at all the Zayden parts. So the one I, I highlighted and tabbed is there's only you violence is that what you needed to hear even when I'm not with you there's only you so like different parts where I was just swooning over obviously I had to tab um because he's like literally so in love and obsessed with her and I love it oh and she said I'm in love with Zayden I had to highlight and heart that and put a tab there and she says stay with me Zayden don't make me beg we both know this is a bad idea then it's our bad idea and so then things get crazy so I have blue which is for setting and plot stuff and this is about them going into that final battle and like why they were and things that were discussed and then it says I'll take care of you just live please live and that's when things happened and he was like oh my god and then he shows up and he's like you have to save her so obviously he shows up to the person that's there I my first time around actually spoiled the end of this book because the literal last line is like super super spoiler and I went to look at the page number like I always do and this is one of my favorites. It says, I would rather lose this entire war than live without you. And if that means I have to prove myself over and over, then I'll do it. You gave me your heart and I'm keeping it. That was on the last page. And so I know she's mad at him because like he obviously lied to her. He had a lot of secrets and lied to her about them. But she knows now, but she's like determined to be like, I can't love you. I can't trust you. But he didn't technically lie. And he had a good point for not telling her because Dane is trash. Like Dane is literal trash. I'm going to get a spoiler here. I completely forgot that he touched her without her realizing it and read her mind. And that's why they got into that situation at the end of the first place. Like Dane was prepared to let her die literal trash i hate him but i love how there's a whole rebellion going and liam i didn't cry because the dogs were distracting me. i was about to cry and then darcy started barking outside and had to go get her so i was on the verge of tears for that one i do think that this is a stronger romance than like a fantasy plot personally like we see all the pink tabs i was reading this for the, the romance and i don't think it's super like complex yet i feel like those because we don't know so much but it just feels like pretty easy fantasy to read which is why i think it's so popular it's very easy to get into it's very easy to just like fall in love with and like really just binge like it's very fast paced love it <laughs> This is literally their first kiss. I was going insane. I was highlighting the entire page. I love it. But I love them. I love Zayden. I love Zayden so much and just how head over heels he is for her and how determined he is to like protect her and save her and how trash Dane is. And that's really all I cared about. So we'll see what happens next. I do love the dragons. I'm so excited to see her Adarna, I think. So excited to see her because I forgot he said that she doesn't have her powers anymore and that she's big so we'll see what comes of that and see what's going on with brennan so finish this my sister literally has 30 pages left a friend though gave it three stars for iron flame we'll see i think this is still a five star read like maybe four and a half i didn't like super super love it as much as i did the first time around because i was like well i already know this this like stuff so like the surprises weren't as big and the fantasy was just like good but like not super super fleshed out if that makes sense so it's not super complex or anything which is why i think it's so readable for people but i'm done with fourth wing and now it's time to jump in iron flame which i have right here i'm not annotating it so i think it'll take me a lot longer it takes me so long when i annotate a book because i'm reading very slowly but here is my copy this does not have bad sprayed edges it just has like a splotchy sprayed edges but and like a little thing up there but hopefully there's no missing pages <laughs> We'll see, but I'm gonna go and read some Iron Flame and I will chat and I'm going to my parents' house tomorrow so I have all day to read tomorrow. I'm watching their dogs because they're going to see my brother and his family. So I pet the dogs while they go because it's about two hours away. So they can spend as much time as they want to and not have to worry about their pups. Okay, so again this says the text has been faithfully transcribed from Navarian into the modern language by Justinia, which is that her friend, the curator of the scribe quadrant, is preserved to honor the courage of those fallen. So like, who's fallen? Oh my god, and it's part one. How many parts are there? Okay, I'm nervous. I also know that Teddy Hamilton's in more, this font is tiny. What the heck? This font is so much smaller than Fourth Wing. What the heck? Okay, and it's 200 pages longer than Fourth Wing. 100 pages? 100 pages longer than Fourth Wing. Anyways, Teddy Hamilton narrates the audio of Fourth Wing at the end for Zayden. I heard he's in more of this book, so that means that Zayden is more in here. So we'll see. I'm gonna go read.
Hi guys, I am at my parents' house. Darcy took my spot. My book's right there. I am 85 pages in. I fell asleep last night. I fully intended to get 200 pages in yesterday. I was tired and because I'm not annotating, I'm not like fully immersed in the book. Because I'm not annotating it like with fourth wing, I did not fall asleep a single time I was reading fourth wing because I was like busy while I was reading it. But Iron Flame, <laughs> I'm not busy. I'm not annotating this because I'm trying to read it faster, which is kind of not helping because I'm falling asleep reading it. I did not fall asleep today reading it, but I'm almost 100 pages in and I thought it would be more action packed than it is so far. Like it's definitely taking a slow beginning because it picks up right where the previous book left off. Off, but because the end was so action-packed and that book just felt like it was like non-stop action after action this one is really them back to where we started basically and I don't know how I'm feeling I also don't love the fact that I'm gonna get a little spoilery here so I'll put that up here but Zayden and her are not together and I don't love that I do not like books where the love interests are separated for a while my sister did mention something about letters because I asked her I was like do we get Zayden's point of view because I know Teddy Hamilton is supposed to be where are you going Bailey Teddy Hamilton is supposed to be Zayden for the audiobook and he only came in the last chapter of the audiobook of Iron of Fourth Wing and I assumed he was gonna have more parts than this but she said well there's letters so I was like okay so maybe he narrates the letters but they are separated for a lot of this and it's just like we're hanging out like that's really all that's happening nothing's like super being revealed yet or anything else so i don't know how i'm feeling we'll see like the romance is just stagnant right now too and i'm like i was loving it for the romance and now they're not even together so like what is the point when i'm reading a fantasy romance i need the romance like that's what i care about so that's why i loved fourth wing was the romance and the dragons and we don't even have a ton of dragons here either because they're in school so like where are the dragons like i loved when taryn came during the formation or whatever but like that's all we've seen so we'll see how the rest of this goes um i'm gonna continue reading i just had some lunch i'm gonna cuddle up with miss darcy again after i filmed that clip of me reading darcy demanded to be in my lap so we are reading together but yeah we'll see how it continues to go hi i am 230 pages in Gigi is like what are you doing probably gonna head home soon it is almost 2 30. i haven't read as much as i wanted to i like in my mind think i'm a lot faster reader than i am but 230 pages in i have this much left i have 370 pages left which isn't too bad i'm definitely hopefully gonna finish that by tonight but i was struggling because i was falling asleep i this book is so slow right now and i feel like it's just like kind of a repeat of the previous book but with Zayden not around. So I don't know. I wish it would have taken like a little bit of a turn because it's just like they're still going to classes. They're still facing like these trials and the trials aren't even like that exciting. People are just like trying to kill Violet. So I don't know. And like I don't know if like this whole society makes sense because I feel like why are certain people allowed to get away with literally whatever they want to? And do whatever they want to with no repercussions it's also weird that they just get to kill so many dragon riders so easily like if dragon riders are so important to their success why are they killing so many off especially when they're in the second year too so i don't know i don't know how i feel i'm a little sad and tori finished and she wasn't the biggest fan so i don't know it's just the romance is not giving the fantasy is not giving there's some dragon stuff but not a ton of dragon stuff so i'm like i don't know i don't know what to feel I was falling asleep around 200. I have heard though the first half is boring. So I have 70 pages until I get to like good stuff. But like why am I reading a 600 page book when half of it's boring? I don't know. So I'm going to get my dogs, go home, and read for the rest of the day. And we'll see how far I get. Hi guys. So it is now 530. I've been home for a little bit. I read a little bit. I'm 300 pages in now. We have little Miss Dark Stars. Hi. My sister just finished. And w was it a good ending or a bad ending? Good ending. Good ending, okay. She really wants me to talk about it to her with. Um, but now it's the situation is fourth wing where I just like get to tell her everything as I read. Though she's going to work, so I'm gonna finish it before she comes home tomorrow. Um, she rated it four stars. So Lily, I am, I am filming. Can you hang out with me for a second? <laughs> and I am still bored. And... <laughs> Like I said, I'm just over 300 pages. Something like interesting was happening, but like I'm also wondering like logically how are things happening 
more so in this book. I know those are critique. A lot of people had a fourth wing of like, why are they like killing off so many writers? Like some of these things don't logically make sense. And like for me, for this book, I'm like, how are these people getting away with these things? How is, I'm gonna do a little spoilery here. How is Zayden able to like visit and also break into these archives without anybody being like, well, what is he actually doing when he's visiting her? And like, I just feel like they have a lot of freedom, but like other times they have like no freedom. And I'm like, it's not really matching up. There's also way too many characters. I cannot remember anybody. And like one person died and they seemed really sad about it. And I'm like, literally no idea who this man was. So I'm just like very confused about all the characters. Unless they're like one of the main characters. Also Sawyer, like who is he and where did he come from? Remember Sawyer? No. Who was Sawyer in book one? Rupee his first year in Cooking Fun and Dragon. Okay. How much was he in the first book? Cause he's like around all the time now and I was like, I didn't even know he were. But like there's people that I'm like, I feel like they weren't super in book one and now I'm like, who are you? So I don't know, I'm just not loving it and I hate that they're apart so much. <sighs> and yeah, I'm very intrigued by Eric and I'm very intrigued by Sloane. I told my sister it would be cool if like they got together and had their own little book. Though now I'm assuming one of them dies by the way you're reacting. She knows everything that's happening so far. So right now, I mean, like there's like little things happening, but nothing like enough to keep my attention. So I'm trying to make sure Lily doesn't knock my camera over. That's how I'm feeling so far. I'm gonna jump in to reading. I have the camera where Lily always sleeps. So she's a little like annoyed by the camera right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and start reading more and I'll up to you probably the next hundred pages. So we'll see, unless like something crazy happens. Oh my gosh, but like so far we're, we're just trucking along. Hello, I just reached part two and things are getting so crazy. So right after I talked to you, like 320 pages in, things started to really pick up. I am 337, almost 340 pages in and things are getting a lot more interesting because I feel like those first 300 something pages, it was just very redundant and not really necessary. It's just like kind of building slowly and I don't really care about their classes. I don't care about their training. I don't care about these like scenarios they're thrown in. And I mean, it was fine, but very slow. And I was just like, where is like the actual plot? I feel like some of that could have been cut down because now we're getting to where I thought we would be getting from book one with like Brendan now coming to the picture. So I'm gonna do spoileries here. Um, Liam. I was scrolling and saw this girl had 140,000 views on a TikTok about Iron Flame. I was like, oh, is it like a damaged book or something? So I watched it and pulled up the comments because that's what I always do before I start watching something. And nope, it was a spoilery TikTok. And all I saw was something about Liam and about Bane, Jack, about Jack. So I knew Jack came back and saved her and I knew Liam was somewhere at some point, but not really. So I loved seeing Liam there, super emotional. I loved him as a character in the first book and he was one of my favorites and I was really sad he died. And Jack, I don't understand at all. Like, are we gonna get something about that? Because like, what the heck? She literally tried to kill him. He tried to kill her the entirety of the first book, like a vendetta out to get her. She almost should have crushed him. Why would they spend so much time and resources saving him? I have no idea because is that part of the reason why the guy, the healer was healing him the whole time? Like why was he always tired? Like did they talk about, is that why? They haven't really said why. Um, unless it's something else that's going to come out later, but why the heck would Jack save her? He's like, I owe you. And I'm like, no, you don't. She literally killed you. You don't owe her anything. I don't know. So yes, it's getting much more interesting now Zayden and her are finally gonna be together for a lot of the book Hopefully I'm sad we didn't get to see any of his letters like what the heck I feel like we were Like robbed of Zayden's adorable letters about himself to her I would have loved to see that to watch her fall in love with him more, but yeah Unless that's like his bonus content. So I'm gonna go and read more Hi, so I am 420 pages in I did go to pick up my book barely touched it with my nail and it scratched the, like this quality is so bad. Like I went and picked it up like this and it just barely grazed the top and it scratched the paint off. Like what the heck? I mean, this was actually like, the only good edition that came. So whatever, I'm just like, 
it is what it is but I'm 425 pages in I'm a little confused why things have to happen the way they do and why they can't like use the dragons to help them because like they keep on being put in these like death situations and I'm like is that couldn't that have been avoided <laughs> like I'm very confused also Zayden disappears a lot and I have no idea where he is or where he goes or why no idea um so it's still definitely really interesting and we're learning a lot that like we still don't know a lot about so like things that have to do with like other kind of people like griffin riders and stuff i'm like what okay and they're learning it too to be fair like violet's still learning some of this stuff but this definitely has less of the like oh my god obsessed romance so it is what it is i'm also i'm just a little confused by things because they had to go like i'm gonna put the spoiler thing here they had to go up this trail right and the griffins had to go up because they couldn't fly but then like they had to jump across the spot because they were going to be shot with arrows but i'm like why couldn't tarn just like fly her across and be fine like call him and have him do like why why I don't know and then they're like they have to go up this trail and it just felt like a very quickly introduced like okay they have to do this and I'm like but why <laughs> like why is this happening and I know that like the dragons they are like they like it's a pride thing the griffins didn't want to be like flown by the dragons but I'm thinking even like the griffin riders and like the dragon riders so now like Riddick is that his name yeah Riddick's about to die so it's like this could have been avoided like I don't know Maybe I'm just like not clearly understanding why it happened, but we'll see. I told Tori that it got more interesting and she said that's where I got more confused. So we'll see. I'm very interested to see what other people think because I have not seen anybody else's reactions. I just know two of my friends' ratings and I just know people freaked out about the ending. All I know about this book. So I have definitely not been spoiled except for the like the, the two things that I already said that I was spoiled by. But that has already happened. So... 200 pages left. It is 8 o'clock. We'll see how this goes. I will update you 100 pages in unless like something crazy happens I need to talk about. struggling right now so I am 490 pages into this book I'm tired and I'm not excited about this plot they're just like hanging around I'm like do something something's gonna happen and I'm so curious how they have like such a good like squad formation schedule going when they and I don't know how Mira, mm, spoilers, I don't know how Mira and all these riders got to defect and just like show up and just like be fine and help them. I'm just very confused. A lot of this is confusing and not that entertaining. So I'm bored. Um, they're trying to figure out how to like make the ward, which I feel like they're going to figure it out. But I have what 130 pages left. I really want to finish tonight, but I'm struggling like, I don't want to read. <laughs> like, I'm not, like, so excited having to figure out what's next. I'm just like, oh, it's fine. So, we'll see. Okay. I am officially 500 pages in, so I have 120-something left. One of the things I noticed is that so many situations they get put in, like, could be avoided. And it's, like, things that aren't, like, the enemy's fault of why some people might be dying. And I'm just, like... These things seem so dumb. Like right now, they're walking down this mountain and they're like risking their lives because like snow could fall on them. They could fall off these mountains all to find some cave of something. I don't even know why they're doing this. I don't know. I thought it was like a team building exercise and all of a sudden it's like, oh no, we need to find this thing. But um, someone slipped and they almost fell off the mountain and she laughed and it almost caused an avalanche. And I'm just like, why are you here? It makes no sense. So, I don't know. I feel like comparing to other fantasy I've read, it's always like the bad guy is coming after them and that's how they almost die. But in this one, it's all situations that like they're forced in or they voluntarily take part of. Yeah, that's where I'm at so far. I'm struggling so hard to stay awake and like really be invested in this book right now. I'm like just waiting and waiting and waiting again. Like it got good and then we went back to like, I'll put spoilers here. It got good and we got back to like training sessions. And like team building and i'm like cool we got that for an entire book already let's like move on and do something else 
I get they're like doing it with new people in a new location, but I'm bored. And I'm 500 pages in this book. I'd be done. Fourth Wing was only 500 pages, but I have 120 left. Gotta make it, make it through this. Okay, this is gonna be a huge spoiler, so ignore my hair. I'm a mess. Um, spoiler down below. I totally called it, so I sent Tori a voice memo. Oh, I didn't send it yet. Okay, I sent her a voice memo. I was like, this is annoying. Zayden has openly said, I don't know if it's only to her, but he's like, yeah, my grandfather rode my dragon. And multiple times they have said, you can't do that. You cannot ride the same dragon as a family member. And I'm like, why has nobody asked Zayden this? Like, this is so dumb. Of course people know. Why is nobody asking him? They said you either get a second power or you're dead. And I'm like, this is annoying. And they waited 500 pages to address this, which I find annoying. And then I told Tori, I was like, I bet you his second power is going to be mind reading because in fourth wing he did this twice and i know because i saw a tiktok of someone who pointed it out but i forgot about it until i was rereading and i was like oh my gosh she thought something and then he said it out loud and she's like oh i didn't realize i said that out loud and my sister when i told her that was like well but they can communicate in their minds i was like yeah but they can't read minds they can talk to each other but you can't like read their mind and so then right before it happened it happened again where she was said something and she was like oh shoot i didn't realize i said that out loud and i'm like because you didn't because he's reading your mind and he just revealed that as a second power and i knew it i knew it but i'm also annoyed that they didn't address it until 500 pages in this book so i'm like listen why has nobody questioned him before when it is a known fact you cannot get on the same dragon as a family member and it's like not a secret who the dragons have bonded with so everyone knows right 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 i don't know anyways i'm gonna keep reading i have 100 pages left i don't know if i'm gonna make it i'm so tired i'm not letting myself lay down i have to sit up i might go get a drink to wake myself up but I need to finish this last 100 pages. It's already 10 o'clock and I'm tired, but I'm gonna finish. I'm determined. It's getting more interesting because we're like leading up to, but I feel like also turning on the like wards was a little too easy. Like, I don't know. Like the dragons just had to breathe on it and then just like, oh, I felt the power. And I was like, oh, did you? Okay. I guess that's all it took. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so they did explain why no one questioned his abilities. They said it's thought that he was my great uncle and not my grandfather. But why? Why do they think that guy was your uncle and not your grandfather? I don't know. I feel like things are just like explained away a little too easily. Also, Taylor just sang Endgame and Is It Over Mashed with Out of the Woods Endgame. One of my all-time favorite songs by her ever. Out of the Woods, another one of my all-time favorite songs by her. Is It Over a new favorite song by her? <sighs> She's and then she ran to Travis Kelsey at the end. That's all I'm thinking about right now. Not the last 80 pages I have of this book. But it's okay. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna ignore my phone. So I was texting my sister and my friends. It's okay. It's okay. It's really fine. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go finish this. Things are getting crazy now. And I would like answers. Like, why, 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 why? <laughs> I just got to the part where the wards fell that's all i'm gonna say but like why why was he just like let to do whatever he wanted after coming <laughs> i'm awake now i have 60 pages left we're gonna see how this ends That was unexpected. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so the last like 60 pages, action packed, sure, yes. Still confused about some things? Still confused about some things. So, I don't know what I want to read this. It's not a five star read for me. There was too many slow parts. There was too much trying to happen and too, too many times where they almost died. Like, 
you don't have to have them die like 10 times in a book or almost die i did love the romance still but like we're at the point now where they're just like in love and i'm just like cool like i don't love it when they're already in love it's definitely not as exciting to me as fourth wing was with their romance because in fourth wing it was like that push and pull and this one there was kind of a push and pull but like you knew they loved each other so that wasn't like something i was like totally like obsessed with like it wasn't fourth wing with the romance i still love the romance but um zayden obviously will do like literally burn down the world for her literally like the ending like what's gonna happen what can happen but also i was very confused i had to reread that last couple pages twice because i was like what just happened how are they like he showed her what he was and then all of a sudden they're like sleeping next to each other also we only got one chapter from Dave zayden's perspective it was four pages like what the heck we never saw a single letter which i'm very sad about i would have loved that though i did like seeing liam's letter in the heading to sloan no one important dies which was surprising because they killed off Liam in book one and I thought Sawyer was going to die, but she's like, not again. So, I don't know. I would have loved to see Anderna more. Anderna? Anderna? That's going to be really interesting to see unravel, but I feel like we didn't learn a ton. I feel like this book definitely kind of felt like a bridge book where we just had a lot of things happening and her slowly unraveling things. Also, it happened over and over again where she like had an epiphany and figured something out and it was realistic of her figuring it out i will say like i saw the thought process which i appreciated because i've read books where it's like they stumbled upon like things too conveniently violet like did fully grasp things and like understand them and figure them out but it happened like over and over and over again so i would like a little variation there but I think I'm the same with Tori, where she, I texted her, I was like, what did you end up writing this book? My sister gave it 4, Tori gave it 3.5 slash 4. I think that's what I'll land on. Possibly 3.5. It was just like really, really long and a little bit boring. And the ending was interesting, but there were just so many things that I'm like, how is this happening? And I don't fully trust, so we're going to get into like major spoilers here. I don't fully trust the fact that they were able to like resurrect their own war college, like so seamlessly and i'm so confused about the timeline of things because i'm like oh is Zayden like pretty much royalty and had this like mansion but also was like dating betrothed to her but i thought that he was raised in like foster care and like what garrick was his opponent one of the guys was his foster brother like how did he have enough time to do all of this that stuff I was very confused about that especially because for the past because he's what a third year so for the past three years he has been at the war college so it been before that the, that timeline very much confuses me there was a lot that confused me in here unlike fourth wing fourth wing was super easy to follow and then this one i don't know if it was like the best world building wise it was very very boring when again we got the war college setting in the first half i was like yes we've been here already now i'm bored and i'm even more bored because zayden and violet are separated and i hate it when characters are separated because i'm here for the romance but we did throw i liked cat she was fun i liked how her and violet like got over their differences and like actually helped each other i loved sloan i would love sloan and eric i wanted so much more of eric i would love sloan and eric to fall in love i love that jacinia and sawyer's relationship is gonna be so cute especially now sawyer doesn't have a leg that's gonna be interesting in the next book but i do think that the next book's probably gonna be better than this one because we're dealing with a different conflict so that'll be very interesting to see very poetic justice that their mom sacrificed herself for her children when she has been doing the literal opposite for the entire series so far in the eyes of violet and mira and brennan i love them as siblings their dynamic is so fun i would have loved more of brennan though i feel like he didn't really have a lot to do with the book um especially because like that was the cliffhanger the last one like give us something more with his character but overall this was a tough one for me i should not have read it all in a day and a half i'm still mad that i scratched that and that it came off that easily like what the heck just any scratch is gonna ruin this this painting i don't know it was like the ending was good i was getting a little distracted by taylor swift and women's soccer while i was reading this and those were more entertaining to me than the book so the ending was a cliffhanger and you're like well what's gonna happen next and it makes me want to read the next book but overall as a book as a fantasy i was not as obsessed with it as fourth wing and i feel like it was a lot all over the place so three and a half four stars not like terrible but like not my fave 
so those are my thoughts let me know your thoughts down below um i really did like her like core group of friends so like imogen i loved and sawyer and riddick and all of those friends like i got to know them more in this book which i appreciated but there were still like a bazillion and one side characters i'm like i don't know who this is who is he i don't know the names too too many names i needed like a whole spreadsheet of names to figure everything out if i really wanted to pay attention so let me know your thoughts i would love to know everything you thought about uh, Iron Flame, what you rated it, what you rated Fourth Wing. I love fantasy romance, that's why I love Fourth Wing. Let me know your thoughts on the second book, and I'm gonna go look up reviews now and look at them to see what everybody else thought, because I have no idea what anybody's thinking, because I avoided anything people were saying except for my sister and Tori. That's the only people, and Samantha. So, like, only like my close friends, I was like, what did you think? I've not sought any opinions out on the internet yet, so I'm gonna go look for those. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.